Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of The Space for the Unbound. I am back from my vacation and excited to get back to this. Um, it has been a few days for me, so uh, I remember... Yeah, you came back and you were leading us to Raya at the bridge. You're saying Raya's waiting, and I mentioned the idea that maybe Admiral is Raya's way of kind of keeping her us on her side. Because we didn't have Admiral while we were rolling around with Lulu. So... All right, Admiral, take me where you gotta go. And we'll see what we can get into. This way? This way. Gotcha. And yeah, I mean, if we just look at the map... Oh uh, my god, the map button is different in every game I'm playing right now. It's, it's, it's the worst. Uh, okay, so yeah, I see. All right, let's go, Admiral. So... Can I just... I think I can just run past you. And just... Go ahead here. Hey, Atma, let's go to the bridge. Okay, yeah, you won't let me go in anywhere. Alright, this is the bridge. Right? Maybe not. Oh, kitty? Fluffy's always... Oh, no, that's more Yolna. Yeah. I mean, there's only gonna be new cats in new areas that I go to. Unless some just, like, up here. Sometimes. Yeah. All right, through here. And now you're going this way. And there we go. Yeah, over here. Wait, this kitty? Oh yeah, no, that's the kitty that was trapped in the box that I saved from the doggy. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're the four that are talking about uh, the thing. Okay, so yeah. Let's head on over. Yeah, the bridge is over here by the, by the river embankment thing, right? There we go. Have I talked to you? <clears throat> I think I named you. Juno? Yeah, I remember Juno. Makes me want to pet my kitties. What about you? Cherry. Yeah, Cherry. Okay. So yeah, I think I've named all of these. Just wanted to be sure. Oh yeah, let's sing. I'm not confident enough to sing in public. There's nobody here, Atma. Just, just go. Sing, just, just let it go. Sing, let it go from Frozen. Go for it. Yeah, we've never actually been over here before. Because we've never been allowed to. Hey, Raya. Atma, you're here. Yes. Uh, there, there, there's Lulu. Hi, Lulu. What? Lulu. Lulu? It's all you. You did this. You ruined this town. You ruined me. It's exactly like I thought. This weird festival, it's all smoke and mirrors. Not just the festival, all of it. The entire school, these people, this whole town. All of this is just a part of your deception. Your plot to steal my identity, to steal my life. Sh shut up. This isn't the Raya I know. That Raya, she... She's a dreamer, not a liar. She weaves stories from the lives of people around her. She doesn't shove them down their throats. You made these people your puppets with that freaky power of yours. All side characters in the story with you at the center. Shut up. I don't know how to feel about this power of yours, but... The one thing I do know is that it's in the wrong hands. You controlled everyone around you and destroyed the people that wouldn't play along. I mean, yeah, Lulu's... Lulu is correct. Like Eric, right? You're a coward, afraid of the real world. So you built this messed up one to rule over instead with power you don't deserve. You're an insane, power-hungry, hypocritical witch. I mean, you are going a little hard here. I mean, you are right, but you don't need to go that hard, I think. I think Ryo's just in a vulnerable position and... Yeah, when you have power like that, you're in a vulnerable position, you're going to abuse it. Shut up. Yep, you're getting Thanos snapped. Yeah. No. Raya, stop. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Raya. What's up? You look like you've seen a ghost. I... I've been looking for you everywhere. Well, I'm here now. What do you need from me? Answers. Where's Eric? What happened to him? Eric's gone. Gone? What do you mean, gone? Just tell me, back then, did you... Why do you still care about Eric? What is, why does everyone still care about that prick? He hurt us both, hurt everybody. He's just a nuisance, an insect. But enough. Don't want to talk about Eric anymore. You're not the one who gets to decide whether people get to live or exist or whatever. You don't just get to snuff people's lights, lives out because you just feel the need to. Eric could have changed. You know, I don't think Eric was all bad. I think Eric was just going through some shit and needed to work through it, much like you do. My, my, my thing about video game protagonists and stories and villains always holds true is really, if, if people just had more access to therapy, a lot of this would be fixed. Oh yeah, you said I don't want to talk about Eric anymore. The chaos in town. It's your doing, isn't it? Me? Why would I bring all this chaos to Loka City? I love this town, and its people. I told you it's the transgressor, the power I felt from the sky. Whatever it is, it's ruining my perfect plan. You're creating a false reality for yourself so you feel better and safer, and Nirmala's trying to break that. Possibly because you've, like, trapped me in this world with you too, and Nirmala wants me back in the real world? I'm thinking Nirmala's definitely on our side at this point. Is what Lulu said true? People at the school, running the festival, the whole town, controlling them all. Are you the one that's been putting these bottle caps everywhere for me to find? Why, Raya? Why do you use your power this way? Because it has to be done, Atma, for our dream. I've been given this power, so... I'll use it how I like, and I want to use it to fulfill our dreams. It has to be done. Trust me. I talked about this, right? If you use your power too much, your body will... Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> Turns out that even after all this, I feel stronger than ever. It's like I'm invincible. What's going on with this festival? Remember our bucket list? We want to throw a party, right? It's the biggest party there is. Whole town's celebrating with us. I just want to have fun with you, Atma. Atma, I need you to trust me. I'm sorry I'm not strong enough. Felt like there was so much standing between us and our dreams. But even with this power, I can't control everything. But I'll make it right. I'll eliminate the hurdles, and then... Then we can spend time together again. We can do everything from our bucket list without obstruction or intrusion. Raya... You know I've never doubted you. And you don't need to be sorry. Please, just stop all of this. Stop messing with things. Let's just do our bucket list together. Atma... Do you... Hate me? No, no I... Raya... Remember... The most perfect world is one with imperfection. This is true. That's the truth. That's reality. Yeah, without the imperfections, you know, you lose all sense of... You lose all sense of diversity, nuance, so many different things. We still need imperfections in our world. We can't have- we can't have a perfect world. That's not ideal. Lulu. Why did everything- why did everything have to turn out like this? Raya? The only thing I ever wanted. I just wanted to be happy with Atma. The yellow flower. I can space dive her. Uh, I don't know about this. Oh, I'm not excited for what I'm gonna see in here. That magic. What are you doing? Harry- Uh-oh. Raya? What's the deal with this book? You keep opening it. Th this book. Raya, what? This book. Atma. No. 
No, no, no. Wait. Well, we can't do space dive anymore. Now I just have to punch all of my problems. You. What are you doing with that book? Don't you know how dangerous it is? Who gave it to you? Marin? Why are you using it on me? It's... I... Raya, what are you doing? Do you recognize that book? Gah, it's a dark portent to see the calamity. What? All it does is bring doom and destruction. But what is it? I don't know if I trust you on that. You don't need to know. Belongs to the transgressor, the one in the sky. It's allowing me to fix a lot of the problems that people were having. You know, I'm actually fixing people instead of just snapping them out of existence. That alone should be enough for you to understand that you can't be in possession of it. I can't believe this. You of all people with that book. How did this happen? I worked so hard to make sure everything would be perfect. Still, I can't even find something as simple as a firework. But it doesn't matter. I might break my back trying to find some childish plaything when I can show you the real deal. Yeah, you're becoming addicted to that power. Oh. Uh. Raya? Oh my god, it's FF7. Oh. Raya, what did you just do? Chapter 3, Lulu, end. Can't help but notice, uh, every single- I thought this when we got to chapter 3 and it was called Lulu. I was like, I can't help but notice every single time there's a chapter named after a character, they die. <sighs> Alright, bye-bye, Lulu. Alright, slot one. Chapter four. Let's go. <laughs> you don't like rain. It's not like you to be happy. And that's it! Another plot point complete! It's about the Star Princess's new artifact, the magic wand. This wand is totally loaded with star magic. Yeah, we can we can do our magical girl transformation. Oh, interesting. Also, also, look at what I drew. Comet is coming and it means the festival is around the corner. It's so great when people get together and set off fireworks. Can't wait to see what they do for the festival. Fireworks? You like fireworks? Really? Kinda hate the loud noises. Noise is only one aspect of their character, Atma. Fireworks are magical. They bloom bright in the night sky and rain their petals down like shooting stars. They make it seem like anything's possible. Like I can fly across the sky to the Star Princess. They keep her company, you know? And she feels sad. Well, that's decided then. What is? Not if we can finish the story. I'll take you to the festival. For real? Oh my gosh, yes! I'll totally finish this with you! Listen. Do you have any idea what it takes to lead? Freak. You're just a fake bitch. Stop it. Yeah, Raya clearly has some trauma. Oh god. It's not good with trauma and a crazy OP power go together. M oh, it's Marin. Hey, Marin. Atma? Atma. Oh, you're alive, thank goodness. I am indeed. Uh... Marin? Is that you? Yes, it's me. This is... Huh. Yeah, things ain't looking good. <gasps> I thought I'd wake up in that damn classroom again. Ooh, thunder. Marin, do you know where Raya is? Edma, what are you talking about? Her power is beyond my comprehension. 
We need to stop her before she hurts anyone else. Hell, with that kind of power. She could probably destroy this entire town. Damn it, she's in trouble and I'm here being an idiot. My hands are shaking. I... I'm afraid of her. I mean, yeah, she's kind of crazy powerful right now. It's only natural that you would be. She just cast a meteor on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she cast meteor. You saw it? Yes. Raya's been running riot for too long. I have a plan, though, so don't worry. First things first, though. Let's move out. It's not safe here. Oh, God. Is this chapter gonna be called Marin? What do you mean, not so- Watch out! Is that... Furniture? Furniture running down from the sky. Chairs, tables, and... Atma, please. I know what furniture is, and at this point, does anything surprise you? Yes, this does! Furniture falling from the sky surprises me, Marin. You make a fair point. Anyway, we need to get out of here. Eyes on the sky, and let's get to my base camp. Your... base camp? It's through here. Come on, you don't want to be creamed by a falling desk, do you? Duh. We'll talk more at base camp. Oh god, this chapter's totally gonna be called Marin. Let's see, it just says chapter 4. It has not given me a name yet. But, it seems like every time we have a character hanging around with us, they die. Well, I guess not every time, because Eric wasn't exactly hanging out with us, but... Whenever a character is prominent in a chapter... Yeah, they're probably gonna bite the dust. I don't wanna see Marin bite the dust. Also, how does she have so much going on? Oh my god! Hey, wait, it's dangerous out there. Is that anti-Atma? Oh god, did Raya make like a... What she sees as a perfect version of me? And now I've got to fight my Shadow Link. Oh god. <laughs> Raya, please. This is super interesting, though. We're dealing with, like, you know, this crazy world that's falling apart now. This is getting really, really cool. This game is really neat. I have uh, quite a few songs from this game on my playlist now, because this game has a bopping soundtrack. You left. Who was that? Who's wearing our school uniform? Do you know him? Hmm. Well, no time for standing around. Let's head to my base camp. Just through that small gate. You say so. Follow me. Oh. Uh, that was a clock? Watch out for the falling debris, okay? Um... Okay... Oh my god. Do you just, like, have pe people's houses up there and you're just dumping everything out? Let's go. I love this remix of, uh, one of the songs. It's very cool. Ooh, a bus. Oh, I love old buses. This is... What is it? I've been here before. In a dream. That's called Deja Vu. Yeah, this is the base camp that, um, you and Nirmala have, right? If I remember correctly, they were- they were all- they were always talking about how they had a base camp as well. And, uh, I remember coming over here. And you feel like you've been somewhere before. I've heard that some people think of it as a paranormal thing. But present research in the scientific community indicates that... Whoa, hold up. I mean, I know what deja vu is. This isn't it. I really have been here before. That's... that's impossible. I settled for this place because it's hidden from everyone else in the city. Especially not Raya. I wouldn't make that kind of mistake. A long time ago, I... decorated this room to be as similar as possible to the place I used to know. This room is a masterpiece, as much as the other ma ar magical artifacts I found. Magic... artifacts? Marin, you've totally lost me. Please, slow down and start from the beginning. I, I... I'm sorry. I'm really bad at explaining this stuff. I know you must have lots of questions, so shoot, ask away. What happened to the city? Rise Angrier has destabilized the whole universe. You know a lot about what's going on. Like, a... crazy amount. You can deduce by how everyone in town behaves strangely, random items falling from the sky. All the weird stuff we've been running into. 
This is progressing a lot faster than I expected. I'm guessing Nirmala's been in contact with you and has possibly given you insight into this because Nirmala did something to Eric. Nirmala was helping out Lulu, I imagine, as well. Nirmala just seems to be trying to give me characters to help to kind of break me free of Raya's grasp. If we don't hurry, we could be seeing the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. What? Lauren, I don't want to insult you by comparing you to that bogus gemstone seller, but... But... You really think Raya could start the apocalypse? Isn't that a bit... crazy? You're free to think that way. Surely you've seen enough to arrive at the same conclusion as me. Yeah, there's clocks falling from the sky. <sighs> I suppose the human mind isn't really built to comprehend stuff like this. Let's just say that I have a feeling I know where this is going, and... It's nowhere good. The world is important, sure, but... I can't lose Raya again. I can't lose Raya again. What happened to the city? Raya's anger has destabilized the whole universe. If we don't hurry, we could be seeing the- Oh, that's the one I already said. Oopsie. Uh, alright. This place looks familiar. I thought the prompt would go away. My base camp. Although it's just the place where I used to hang out. I used to go here when I needed some time on my own. It's where I met Raya, too. So you... okay... Mm, mm, hmm. So you two have history together. And interesting. You used to hang out with Raya here. I used to hang out here with Nirmala. It's thick with memory. I mean, it's like I can feel the weight of the memories hanging in the air. It feels familiar, but not exactly the same as it did in my dream. The dream? I had a very long and vivid dream of hanging out in this kind of place with a kid named Nirmala. We spent countless hours writing a story together, but... The dream ended abruptly. In a pretty traumatic way. Dreams are never just dreams. I knew it, you really are, Atma. That's all I have to say. I knew it, you really are, Atma. That's all I have to say. <sighs> okay, yeah, we're getting... we're getting wild here. Myron knows some stuff. And you... No way, could you be... Let's save this for later. I mean, I was thinking the same thing, but I'm like, you have a different name, so... Save this for later. It doesn't do to dwell on the sins of the past. I'd rather do what I can to solve the, this mess in the present. Interesting, interesting. I mean, that... That would explain why... Because mm, I'm imagining what Atma was going to say was like... Unless I'm- unless I'm coming- jumping to the totally wrong conclusions here, I- the idea had crossed my mind that you're just Nirmala. It would explain why you know so much about this world. Um, as someone else mentioned, you were the one that gave me the red book. Maybe you're like, this world's version of Nirmala, or you're Nirmala grown up, or- I- I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's- there's a lot going on here, it's a lot to parse. Um... I don't know. I mean, you, you were a writer, so it would make sense if you became, like, the bookish type. What are all these drawings and trinkets? These are all magic artifacts I gathered. None are more magical than one. I'll show you when you're all done asking questions. Is it the wand? This one is more enchanted than the rest. I just know it's going to come in useful. Enchanted? Marin, how can you talk about something like magic so seriously? How can you not? You used the book, didn't you? After what you've seen around town, after you saw what Raya can do, are you still doubting it? Well... Is this really the Atma I've heard so much... heard so much about? Okay, okay, so wait, maybe you just know Nirmala. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Maybe you just know Nirmala. Because <laughs> Nirmala's clearly, you know, like, communicating with you. So, maybe you know Nirmala in some way? Okay, okay. I... Torn between this world and a vivid dream. Except I honestly couldn't tell you which one was which at the moment. Yeah, see, that's what I've been thinking since the beginning. I see. Fair enough. Magic aside, these items are a part of histories, both mine and Raya's. Tangible reminder of everything that we used to be. It's the best hope I have to fix all of this. Uh... You know where Raya is now? I can't know for sure, but... 
I saw a blue beacon shining brightly in the sky. Looks like it's heading in the direction of Loka High. I have a feeling Rai is there, using her powers for who knows what. We need to make a plan and get to executing it. Uh... How do you know Raya? Raya was... my childhood best friend. But everything changed when you came around. Me? Why me? How come you don't remember anything? I... It's too painful to remember. Anyway, I don't want to sit here and talk about all my screw-ups. What happened between Raya and I isn't important. You're the closest person to her at the moment. You're serious, and you really don't remember. I'll tell you the whole story later, but... Right now we need to save Raya. Okay. Let's move on. Alright, now for the task at hand. Indeed. Said you know a way to stop Raya? You have a plan? Indeed. Of all the magical artifacts I've seen in my time, these two are by far the most powerful. The first is one you're familiar with already, the Red Magic Book. It's a very mysterious magical artifact of unknown providence. Some pages are missing, and what's left is totally illegible, at least to me. That's why I gave it to you. When you crashed into me in front of the classroom? That was deliberate? Of course! I wanted to see what you would do with it. And it looks like you've taken to space diving like a professional. It's remarkable, really. So I'm thinking, we can stop Raya by space diving her. Once you help her back to her normal self, all the anomalies will disappear. Uh, Marin? I hate to rain on your parade, but I've already tried it. Space diving Raya. And? And Raya confiscated the book. I don't have it with me anymore. I can't believe you! How could you be so careless? I... I'm sorry. What do I do? What can we do? I don't. I can't. Marn, take a deep breath, calm down. Panicking won't solve anything. We need to stay level-headed. I have a backup plan, but it's a long shot. Remember I mentioned two powerful artifacts? Well, that's the backup. The wand, yes. Gotta do my magical girl transformation. The magic wand. Oh, you remember. Yes, I remember seeing it in my dream. It's the one I used when I tried to save Nirmala before. Yep, when you were trying to- when Nirmala uh, was stuck in the water and then we fell in. Yes, the South Star Princess's magic wand. The red magic book allows you to dive inside people's minds. This magic wand can open a rift in time, allowing you to dive in the memory of a specific place. A bit like space diving, but with a location rather than a person. The world is destabilizing because of Raya's magic, and the fabric of the universe has taken the hit in several places. I figured that the power of the wand might help you break through and open the rift. Maybe you'll be able to use it, since you can use the book. I've never been able to activate anything myself, but you have. This wand. It feels strange to finally feel it in my hand in real life. This reminds me of uh, the different songs in Children of Silent Town. So, how do I use it? According to my research, it will react in some way when you're close to a rift. Let's try this. Hold the wand high above your head. It should show you the way to a rift. Um... Oh, I just press X. Okay. It didn't tell me to press a button, so I just started mashing things. Is that the rift? Should hurry before it disappears. Alright. Try using the wand. You might be able to find a rift. Maybe. Maybe? What the hell does that mean? Don't worry about it. Just give it a go. Okay, okay, wait, is there anything interesting here? So, oh, press X to activate the magic wand. That, that's what I get for reading that. Alright. Let's go. You found the rift, as expected from you, Atma. Can't believe my eyes. What now? Now before you enter the rift, there's something I should warn you about. You're able to break the dimensional veil. Time, space, this magic is completely untested. Nobody knows what might happen if you disturb too much of the past. For all we know, you could break the time and space continuum. There's no point in trying to prevent Raya from destroying the world if you just go and end it all by yourself anyway. Er. So be careful, stay focused, in, then out, okay? Let's go. Open the rift and step inside. Okay, how do I do that? You don't remember that part? Well, to open it, you'll have to do the Star Princess Magic Dance with the wand in hand, yes! Star... huh? Never really danced anything properly before. That's okay. It's just like fighting, but with magic. 
It's easy. Follow my lead. But okay. By the power of the moon, I will vanquish you, or whatever Sailor Moon says. It really worked. Of course it did. I told you it's my creation. I know what it's capable of. What do you mean? Enough dilly-dallying now. Go for it. Follow your instincts. There might be something in the rift that can help us. It's your creation. The magic wand is your creation. Alright, Marin. Okay. I think I'm getting what you're putting down. For Raya's sake. Alright, in we go. Well, this is interesting. This feels like an insert disc 2 moment of this game. Whoa. Marin. What the hell happened? World, it's all... Okay, man, deep breath, calm down. What did Marin say about the rift? Something about breaking through a veil, a time veil, wibbly-wobbly. It's like time travel, I guess. The movies, they always warn you not to change too much of the past. Right. Today, no matter what, gotta get my hands on the red magic book, whatever it takes. Somebody outside mentioned the book. You should investigate. And we're gonna end it there. So, cool. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of A Space for the Unbound, and I'll see you next time for some more.